Hello there guys, Coaster Chow here, Dogs to Born, Bob Built for Theme Parks and welcome to the Spring 2022 Predictions. Uh, this is the first one for the Six Flags Theme Parks. Cedar Fair and Mill Entertainment are being recorded straight after this. Pre-recorded like this one, straight after this one. Uh, so they're all being recorded on the same day uh, and released... A day, obviously in one each day uh, that was the plan always with these prediction videos and uh, yeah let's see how these predictions change from the early predictions I can't believe it's been a couple of months few months now since those early prediction videos and you know the view yeah you know, I think we only I think only in the last week or two we just hit 1,000 views on the six Flags predictions the early ones uh, which is amazing so thank you very much guys for your support really does appreciate Really is appreciated. And, um, you know, we're going to get the spring predictions well underway now. And then we're going to record the Cedar Fair and the Melon Entertainment ones to be released in the days following this one. Uh, so for now, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Cut OK's part so you never miss a YouTube video. You'll tell which park's which because I'm going to put the park logo uh, or something to do with the park on the screen. Um, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> um, but there we go, guys. Check the description down below for social media links, Google Forms to submit your video ideas. And for now, let's get on with our Six Flags Spring Predictions for 2022. So starting off with Frontier City, so my early prediction was the relocation of Goliath from Six Flags New England to replace the Thunder Road Raceway, and that's exactly what I'm sticking with. I expect Goliath to leave Six Flags New England, I don't expect it to be scrapped, I expect it to be relocated, uh, and Frontier City is the right location personally for me. Uh, I think that Frontier City is a great theme park, you know, rides on, on the way. Um, if there was another thing I could think about in terms of other predictions, because of course usually with spring predictions I like to think of maybe one or two, maybe even more routes uh, of prediction. Um, so I think another route that could go down is maybe some kind of uh, family ride or family thrill ride, like a circular spinning ride. Uh, to replace the tumbleweed attraction, of course, that's the chance rotor attraction that's been f uh, officially removed from the park uh, at the start of this season. Um, and you know, something even something like uh, a spin sanity, something like a Zampilla Endeavor, uh, would work very, very well at the park. So, uh, I'm going to go with either Goliath relocated to Frontis City from Six Flags New England, I'm still going to go with the Pandemonium name, I think that's a great name for the ride. Uh, or a Spin Sanity Zampella Endeavour to replace the Tumbleweed site. Or both. You never know. They could do a double ride, double thrill. You look at what Six Flags New England did when they brought in um, the the Fireball and Superman the Ride, the retheme of Bizarro. You know, it was double double the thrill, double the fun. Uh, so they might do a package like that, but um, that's what I'm expecting with this. A relocated coaster or a Zampella Endeavour or both. Next up, The Great Escape and Splash Water Kingdom. Now, my early prediction was next to Canyon Blaster and it was a Zampella Endeavour, again called Spin Sanity. I'm going to stick with the Zampella Endeavour prediction. However, I see this replacing the Giant Wheel, which has been removed from the park's website. Now, this does hint towards the removal of the Giant Wheel. And I think that's an even better site to put the Zamperla Endeavour on. But I think the Zamperla Endeavour is what I'm expecting here for the Great Escape. Next up, La Ronde. And a very easy one here. I'm going to stick with the early prediction. And that was the delaying of Vipair. Uh, delayed from 2019, 2020 and what I believe to be 2021 as well. I do expect this to open in 2022. Uh, the Intamin Zaxpin, formerly known as Green Lantern First Fly, operating between 2011 and and 2017 at Six Flags Magic Mountain uh, was removed. Uh, we know what's going to happen to that site, which we'll talk more about in a little bit. Uh, but VPAR, I expect to be delayed one more year. Um, and I expect that to open in 2022. So very, very easy prediction for Laurent for me. Next up, Six Flags America. Now, my early prediction was a SNS launch coaster near the Penguin Blizzard River and replacing the Whistle Stop Park area. However, my predictions completely changed now with this. I've gone with two potential uh, different routes. I've gone with either a Zampella Endeavour, uh, like so a Spin Sanity or a Skyfly or whatever. Zam obviously, the Supergirl Skyflyer, but you know what I mean. Uh, but a Zampella Endeavour, great family ride, uh, perfect for the park. Or to replace Zoomazon Falls, a Tsunami Surge Water Coaster. Now, the Zampella Endeavour would be located around the splash area of Zoomers on Falls. So this is both replacing Zoomers on Falls in a way. Um, but the Endeavour would be around the splash area because that's facing towards the dry park. So it makes a very good switch to a dry park investment. 
um, or they just take the whole thing out and replace it with a Tsunami Surge water coaster heading towards the Hurricane Harbor water park. Uh, so there's two potential routes that could go down here, Family Ride or Water Coaster. And I think that with Zoomers on Falls leaving the park, I think that, that both of them are easy routes to go down. I think that both of them could be very good investments for Six Flags America in that year. Next up, Six Flags Darien Lake. And my early prediction was an SNS Screaming Swing uh, near the Scrambler attraction. Uh, I'm going to go and change my prediction to a, to a bunch of family rides and shows. Of course, they're adding... Wahoo Wave uh, to the water park, I believe, this year. It's either it's either being added or it's been scrapped from the investments. But um, but if not, then I do expect the family show, uh, family rides, and the and maybe some new entertainment to help bring back the crowds in 2022 uh, and help bring them closer together. Uh, but I think in terms of family rides, we could expect anything. Maybe even the classic family rides like the Sizzler or the, the classic Twirler World. Um, you know, like what Six Flags Over Georgia kind of did with their. Um, Poison Ivy, Toxic Twister, and you, know, you see what the Holly Quinn Spinsanity was at a couple of different parks with the, the classic tilt to wheel attraction. Um, so I expect maybe a couple of classic family rides into Darien Lake, and you know some new shows would be a great addition of entertainment to the theme park. Next up, Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, and my early prediction here was either a Funtime Booster or Zampella Endeavor to replace the Tasmanian Devil ride and near Johnny Rockets, or the Sidewinder Safari if it's not outright cancelled. I'm going to put my neck on the line and say it won't be cancelled and we're going to expect Sidewinder Safari to open uh, towards the start of 2022. Kind of like what Six Wise Magic Mountain did with West Coast Racers, delaying it until right at the start of 2021. Uh, sorry, 2020. And I definitely feel like Sidewinder Safari could do like a January 2022 opening. Kind of like what West Coast Racers did for the previous 2020 at 65 Magic Mountain. So uh, I do expect Sidewinder Safari to open in 2022. If it opens in 2021, uh, then I'm, I, I may stick with my fun time booster prediction for now. I'm uh, not going to go with the Endeavour because we've had too many Endeavours now already. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I think a fun time booster would be a great flat ride for the park. So that's what I'm sort of expecting. Maybe not the same site, but definitely a fun time booster if Sidewinder Safari is not uh, opening in 2021. One. Only if Sidewind, you know, we're only going to predict Sidewinder's Safari for 2022 if it's not opening in 2021. If it is, I'm going to go with the fun time booster for now. Next up, Six Flags Fiesta Texas, and I predict a Whitewater Bay refurbishment into Hurricane Harbor Fiesta Texas and a new slide near the Thunder Rapids. I'm going to go with my prediction here, and I'm going to go with one or two routes. Uh, the Hurricane Harbor edition I'm going to stick with as one of my predictions. Maybe a new slide near the Thunder Rapids, maybe like something like a Python's Plunge or Tsunami Surge water coaster type thing. Or I do expect maybe one route to be a couple of family rides or, or a complete overhaul of their kids' area. I think that, uh, you know, Kidsopolis maybe could be the target here for Fiesta Texas. Um, you know, and I'd like to see a host of new family rides as part of a, a kids' area refurbishment. But I think overall, well, I think either route would be very good because I think a new slide fit for the Hurricane Harbor would be brilliant. Um, you know, Fiesta Tex, I don't think has really added to the water park ever since they added uh, the Thunder Rapids water coaster. So uh, I would like to see a new water slide there. Uh, but I also wouldn't mind the the kids rides or the family rides to apply it, it sort of refurbished Kidsopolis in a way into a brand new kids area. So I think either route is uh, is good enough for me. Next up, Six Flags Great Adventure. My early prediction is the same prediction, pretty much. I predicted either a DC Super Friends or Bugs Bunny Boomtown to replace the Bugs Bunny National Park. And uh, my prediction will remain the same. I'm going to go specifically, though, with a Bugs Bunny Boomtown to replace the Bugs Bunny National Park. No DC Super Friends. I'm going to go with a complete Bugs Bunny retheme and a complete overhaul into the more modern Bugs Bunny Boomtown. I think that overall, that is what I'm going to go with. Six Flags Great America. Now, my early prediction was San Pillow Giant Discovery to replace the Revolution. And in this case, I'm going to go with Family Rides and Shows as my change of prediction. I think same with Darien Lake. I think that uh, they could go with some Family Rides. I think Great, Event Great America could do with some Family Rides. Especially since people think there's a coaster coming up into the future of Great America. You know, things like RMC American Eagle and Axis Coaster in a few years' time. You know, loads of predictions coming out of Great America about the next coaster in a couple of years' time. But uh, for now, at least, it'll be family rides heading up to that coaster year in a couple of years uh, from now. Six Flags Magic Mountain, very easy prediction in the early prediction. An RMC single rail coaster to replace Green Lantern First Flight and Tidal Wave. And I predicted either a Joker or Flash theme 
very easy to predict this one. We knew this is coming for about a year now, uh, over even over a year, about one and a half years exactly. Um, and my spring prediction specifically is the Joker. Uh, the RMC single rail coaster to replace that site. I've gone specifically with the Joker theme. Uh, I think the the green rail and the, uh, the the mix of green and purple on the single rail, uh, or maybe um, maybe like a mix of green and purple, and then the supports black or white or whatever. Uh, I think that a lovely color scheme would work with this. And could you imagine the train design if you look at Jersey Devil's uh, train design? The Joker train design would be absolutely wild, and the Joker is wild. <laughs> um, but no, very easy prediction this one, the Joker for Magic Mountain, I think that this Joker is going to go crazy. Next up, Six Flags Mexico, and I predict the Zampella Endeavor opposite the Joker in my early predictions. For my spring prediction, I'm going to go with some family rides, I think just some classic family rides, just to boost the family audience at the park a little bit more. And uh, just just keep that side of the the park up, and then maybe in a couple of years Mexico will go back to to thrill investments. But uh, family rides, what I'm predicting for for the next season, maybe something classic again like the the classic Sizzler ride or the Tilt a Whirl, something classic like that uh, would do really well for the theme park. Next up, Six Flags New England. Now my early prediction was a premier launch coaster in between Batman the Dark Knight and Superman the Ride. However. For this one, I've gone with two different routes. I've gone with either Family Rides, so it could be classic Family Rides, or a Hurricane Harbour Edition. Now, a Hurricane Harbour Edition would be wonderful for this park. Obviously, the big question here is what's going to happen to the site of Goliath, of course, if that gets relocated to Frontier City. We know it's not operating this season. We know it's probably going to get taken out. And um, if you look at the site, I mean, the overall, it's, it's a very... You know, obviously there's room to grow either side, but I think you need something quite compact for that site. So uh, I would wait and I would drum up something over the next couple of years for that site in particular, uh, unless they've got something in the pipelines already. But I think overall, just focus on this year will be to family rides or, or like a Hurricane Harbour edition. Just turn the attention to the water park uh, for the 2022 season. Next up, Six Flags Over Georgia. And my early prediction was a Thunder Rapids water coaster uh, near the Bonsai Pipelines at Hurricane Harbour. And that is exactly what I'm going with again for my prediction. Over Georgia needs a water park edition. They haven't had one uh, since they opened the water park, a new coaster in the water park back in 2014. So, you know, six, seven years without a, a water park edition, a new one. You know, there needs to be some new additions to Hurricane Harbor now before they do any type of coaster investment uh, in a few years' time. But um, that's my thinking process with Over George. I'm looking at Hurricane Harbor edition and the, the first major Hurricane Harbor edition since uh, the water park opened back in 2014. But ultimately, Six Flags over Texas, and we know what's coming already. Predicted it, still my prediction, it's a confirmation pretty much. Uh, Aquaman Power Wave delayed from 2020 and 2021, replacing the old Aquaman Splashdown attraction. It's the Mac Power Splash, we know that's opening in 2022 uh, with the turntable, uh, with some extra additions and changes here and there just to make it a better ride experience and uh, that will open in 2022. We know that's coming along with the Raptor at Magic Mountain. That's the two projects that are pretty much confirmed to be happening. Um, and, you know, like I said in the past, this is going to be a wonderful attraction for over Texas, a wonderful coaster for the park, and uh, it will really bring the modern aspect to the water coaster type. And finally, Six Flags St. Louis. Now, of course, my prediction again remains the same. It's pretty much confirmed now. Cat Woman's Whip. Uh, the Funtime Booster, or the Vomitron, as people call it, uh, delayed from 2020 and 2021, will open in 2022. It will not open, though, on the Speedodrome go-kart site, because people have commented, and I've checked it, and it's confirmed, uh, it will be opening on the Superman Power of Tower site, which is a very interesting thing at all. But it is a classic flat ride attraction, a great flat ride for St. Louis, and uh, maybe this is the build-up to the coaster. And this is an this it brings up an interesting debate in a way, because maybe they're not using that speeder drone go-kart site, because of course it is next to the boss pretty much. So maybe they could take that out, and maybe RMC the boss in a few years? I mean, we can't rule it out, can we? So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is my spring 22... 2022 predictions for the Six Flags theme parks. Uh, very, very exciting stuff there. Uh, very exciting, and I really cannot wait to see what's going to happen here. So, a few of them I could get right. Uh, we know two that's definitely right the Magic Mountain Raptor and 
uh, the Aquaman Power Wave at 65 over Texas, and as well, you know, the Catwoman Whip at 65 St. Louis. So there's about three right there already, and uh, it's just a matter of time now to see what the rest of them are going to be. So uh, very interesting there, but thank you very, very much, guys. Stay tuned tomorrow for the Seed of Fair predictions and the day after for the Million Entertainment predictions. But for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, Kill on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill-tastic day.